Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kaylee of Kaylee Planned, and today we are going to be planning for the week of February 10th to the 16th. I've already whited out my area, so let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to be using a kit by, no surprise, Cinderella Paper, and this is the Dusty Rose kit. And I end up bringing in a couple of other pieces into this kit just because um, I didn't like the headers that came with the kit so I decided to bring in a couple other headers as well as some washi tape from Simply Gilded. So let's go ahead and start laying down our full boxes. Um, so I do take a really really long time to lay down my full boxes you guys. I'm not even gonna try and lie about it. Um, this is sped up like literally eight, eight times and There's a lot of times that I will like just turn off the camera and make decisions before just because if I did everything on camera, these videos would be like three hours long. Um, so I do a lot of stuff off camera and do a lot of decision making off camera so that the videos themselves go by a little bit quick, a little bit more quickly. So I decided to go holographic this week with, with my foil. I won a, an album of foil, um, foiled stickers and overlays when I went to the SPC planner party in 2019 in Austin. Um, so I thought it would be fun to finally stop hoarding those things and actually start using them in my spreads. So after I lay down all of my headers, I go ahead and show you guys what it looks like with those overlays. And of course you could purchase these overlays from the Scribble Prints Co. at any time on their website. Um, I believe they have like Wiggle Wednesdays, which are when their foil is on sale. So that's kind of the best time to cash in on it if you are interested. Um, this is not an ad, I just shop with them a little bit. Um, and so yeah, I mean that little glimpse there, you could see just how holographic it was. And I also bring in some overlays from my full boxes and they are just stunning. Um, again, and then <clears throat> I just choose some random ones to put the overlays on because I got a bunch of different types of overlays so I think I only had like four of these um that I put down but I make it work or maybe I end up bringing in maybe I ended up buying another set yeah because it looks like they ended up all getting it except for the bottom two full boxes so um I had a sheet and a half I guess I don't know so then I go ahead and lay down my date covers after Movie Magic allowed me to very quickly finish putting down all my headers and overlays. And I pre-dot all of these before I lay them down for you guys because I am a stickler for them being really straight and you would see like the top of my head in all the shots if I didn't um, put them down before filming. So that is why I always do that in case you were wondering. It just is easier. I have more control. And that's what the spread looks like so far with just our headers and our date covers and full boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and fancy it up a little bit though because you know I have this amazing washi from the Simply Gilded that is like a dead match to this kit and it was holographic so it was pretty much a no-brainer to go ahead and add it to this kit. And this is my process for laying down washi. Um, here's the top of my head. I really do hate when it's not straight. I'm gonna be so honest. There's a time and a place for when I like the ripped edge look, but not in my Erin Condren. That is not the moment for me. Um, so I really like for it to look very structured and straight. And so you see a couple of spaces where it ripped that I just went ahead back into it and just made sure it was perfectly straight and a crisp, clean cut. Then after laying down my top washi, I decided to go ahead and start laying down my bottom washi. 
I wasn't sure if I wanted to try and fit both pieces of washi tape in that I showed you guys in the beginning or if I was just going to stick to just the small strip. Um, you see me try and finagle both of them in, but I don't think it actually fits. I don't think it would have fit if I really would have committed to it. I would have had to cut the bottom washi a little bit thinner, the one that came with the kit, a little bit thinner so that I could have fit both of the Simply Gilded washies in there, but it's all good. The way that I ended up doing it still looked really pretty. Sorry guys, my air is kicking on, or I should say my heater is kicking on. So yeah, here I am trying to see how much I should space it out, and then I'm like, ooh, could I fit this one? They won't fit. Yeah, so I was like, eh. Taking it out. And I just stuck with the bottom washi for the kit, and the skinnier Simply Gilded washi. So that's kind of what my full setup will look like, and I go ahead and finish the other side off camera as well as my sidebar. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and start planning. Using my letters to Apollo work scripts, I first lay down, um, oh actually, I first put down that I get Starbucks. I pulled the work script though. Um, so then, that kind of looked a little sparse, so I decided to put three items in my first box instead of just two. So I moved the little Starbucks um, quarter box up and have room to place a little In My Feelings script. Um, and the reason I put that is just I obviously started a new job and, well not a new job, I started a new position and it's just been really stressful um, and I've been obviously been feeling stressed out but also like kind of like burnt out at the same time I don't know it's a very strange feeling so I just put in my feelings and just to mark that you know I've been feeling some type of way lately and then because I was kind of feeling a little bit moody I decided that I wanted to embroider a little bit so I embroidered and then after that I cooked dinner and I think I've told you guys that me and Edwin have been doing the HelloFresh boxes but they actually are really good and they just work for our lifestyle right now I did used to like traditionally cook but with Working 10 hour days, it's gotten a lot harder to like have the energy to go to the grocery store and things like that. Um, so after I cooked, um, I marked that, or after I marked that I cooked, I marked that we have eight months until the big day, um, until we get married. So that's very exciting because it's moving very quickly and it's becoming very, very, much so a reality that we will be married in a short amount of time. For Tuesday, again, I just marked our little Starbucks run. We go every morning, so some days I mark it, some days I don't when I feel like I want to have something extra to put in my planner, I mark it, or if I have an exceptionally cute coffee cup or a coffee icon sticker, I will mark it. Um, and then, of course, I always do the same icon for work, which are these very cute design stickers, um, and I always switch up the work script that kind of goes next to it. After I went to work, we had, well, I left work early because we had a work brunch at the Blossom Cafe, um, where we discussed our, our like third, or like our first quarter where we need to be finishing up our first quarter and like things like that. Um, we talked about it with like our market segment leader and got our budgets for that and um, some deadlines and things like that, you know. But of course we talk about it over breakfast, so it's not as invasive. <laughs> People won't 
retaliate as they're not as likely to retaliate when they're being fed and happy. Um, and then after our budget meeting, we had a new product excellence meeting. So we just learned about the new products that are coming out and is it something that we feel like we could sell? Is it something that won't work in our market? Like give us your feedback, blah, 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 blah. So it's like one of those meetings, um, which are always kind of helpful. And even though I had a full day, I decided to still come home and cook Puerto Rican food. I was really, really tired, but I, that's what I wanted to eat, so I did it. And then after that, we watched The Office. I started Wednesday out by marking that, of course, as always, I work. Um, so again, using the same letters to Apollo script and very cute design sticker to mark work. And after work, I listen to a little bit of my favorite podcast, which is called My Favorite Murder, which if you've never listened to it before, but you like true crime, um, I would really suggest it. I think I've talked about it before on this channel, but it is a murder comedy podcast, um, which sounds kind of insane, but they're not like laughing at murder they're like trying to alleviate the murders they're talking about by incorporating a little bit of comedy um so it keeps it a little bit lighthearted and isn't as intense as some other murder shows you might see um then i had to pick up some product from another store and finish the night off by embroidering a little bit on thursday i again marked work as always um this time i did a little paintbrush instead of a bucket um, and after that, I left work early because on this day, it was our food tasting with our caterer for our wedding. So we are with J&L tasting, or I'm sorry, J&L catering, <clears throat> and that's who we did our tasting with. Um, so it was three hours of eating and eating, and after we ate, we ate some more. And people being like, which one did you like more? And did you decide? And I'm just like, I liked everything. <laughs> Emily, bro, you can't make me choose these things. Um, but then after we did our tasting, we were able to walk through our venue again. And it is just starting to feel, like I said, very real and very... Um, it's just something that like now... the Like what I'm envisioning in my mind is really coming to be a reality, um, and it's very exciting. <clears throat> and then after we walked through the venue, we were able to choose our table settings, which again, it just helps to encapsulate that whole vision of it like coming together, and um, it's gonna be beautiful, I'm so excited. <laughs> then of course, Friday was February 14th, which is Valentine's Day, so that was the first thing that I marked and after that I went to work. Um, I had to work a full day because I left early on Thursday. So even though it was Valentine's Day, <clears throat> I worked a full day and everything like that. Um, and of course on Valentine's Day, you have to make an Instagram post for your boo thing. So I posted um, obviously an engagement photo our like photos from our engagement photo shoot for Valentine's Day and I just kept it a simple little quote this year I didn't go all out with like a paragraph or anything like that and then after work we exchanged gifts um it was really cute I quite enjoyed my gift Edwin cried about his gift so it was definitely a good day um, and then Edwin always takes me to go and buy plants on Valentine's Day. So we went to the plant shop, which is um, a local plant shop. <laughs> and that's the name. Um, but yeah, so they only sell like plants. They don't sell flowers, um, but like house plants and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> it's not the cheapest place ever, so if like budget is something that you're looking for, I would suggest like Home Depot or big box stores tend to have really good deals on, oh, there's the back of my head, a really good zoom in on that. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, but 
Yeah, I would say any of, like, the big box stores. Even Ikea. Like, they have really great plant house plants at Ikea. Um, but I just really like the plant shop. And after that, we stayed home and watched Netflix and ordered food in since it was freezing here in Chicago on Friday. Um, so... We decided to wake up really early on Saturday <clears throat> and go to one of our favorite um, breakfast spots instead of doing like a Valentine's Day dinner. And it was nice because it was completely dead. We woke up so early. Um, there were no people out. We had the restaurant to ourselves. And we went to this place called The Machine, which my old manager told me about. Um, it's really cool. They have like handcrafted drinks and stuff like that, even like non-alcoholic ones, which I really appreciate because I don't really drink too much. Um, and yeah, so we had our little date and then after that we had to go to Target and do adult things and buy stuff for the house. Um, <laughs> after the, after Target, we had to go and buy dog food and snacks and filler and all this other stuff. So we went to Pet Supplies Plus after Target, but, like, their parking lot was insane, so we had to park in kind of an illegal spot, and so I stayed in the car, and Edwin ran in, so I didn't get to shop for my precious puppies the way that I normally would, and, I mean, Edwin did well enough, it's just, I would have gotten them, I probably would have spent, like, $300, you know, like I always do on my dogs, (laughs) and Edwin kept it to, like, a uh, moderate $50, which is really all we need to spend on them, but I'm always like, well, we're already getting a bag of food. We might as well just buy two bags of food so next time we don't have to come back, you know, and things like that where I just end up buying way more than I need to and spend way more money than I need to. And then after um, we shopped, I came home, we came home and cleaned and Then I FaceTimed my little sister who lives in Utah. Um, So, no, yeah, no, I did FaceTime my sister. And then after I watered my plants, (laughs) because I just got new plants, I called my best friend and we talked on the phone for a very long time. And while I was on the phone with her, I was doing a little bit of filming. I was actually filming this very plan with me that you are viewing before your eyes today and that was it for Saturday on Sunday we decided to get into project mode and I started I finally painted my studio I had this peppercorn color from Sherwin Williams that I've been dying to paint my studio it's like almost black but it's like a charcoal gray and everything in my studio just pops with the black background now Um, I love it so much. And then I finally reorganized my studio. It's not totally done yet. I have to put up some shelves and everything that I got, but it'll get there. Um, And then I finished the night off by filming the rest of this plan with me. Um, I listened to a little bit of my favorite murder podcast while I was filming. And after that, we went and bought some reclaimed wood. Um... There's this place here in Chicago that, like, sells legitimate, like, barn wood and stuff like that. So those were the shelves that I wanted to get, but they still have to be, like, properly cleaned and everything like that. So they haven't gone up yet, but after we went and bought the shelves, we went and bought the hardware. And um, that way, so whenever I do get the chance to, like, clean them, once (laughs) the weather is nice enough for me to hook up my hose again... Um, I'll be able to just put them right on the wall and I'm really excited because those shelves are going to be like my Harry Potter shelves and they're going to look very magical. I'm very excited. Stay tuned for pictures. Um, And then after we went to the Home Depot and got our um, shelving supplies, we watched a little bit of The Office, which I just started watching you guys like this year. It's the first time I've ever even started watching it. It is a hilarious show. It's been suggested to me for years by multiple people who know what my humor is like. And um, you guys were not wrong. (laughs) So with that, I just put my little icons down for um, my reclaimed wood in my Home Depot. And that's about it for this plan with me, you guys. I appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching this video. Um, Feel free um, 
to subscribe if you like these type of planner videos and things like that. But here's a view at the finished spread. I love all of the holograph. I'm glad that it is picking up a little bit on the camera, at least while I was like planning it seemed to pick up on the film. So I hope that you guys are able to see just how beautiful the Scribble Prince Co. foiling really is. Um, and here I'm just finagling my stickers a little bit around, but that is the finished product there, you guys. I filled in my sidebar off camera and just do a couple of little swirly things and a little twerk. And thanks for watching. Like if you like this video and like I said, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Bye.